Welcome everybody to my nursery. This is Pooh Bear 253's Reborn Baby Nursery. When you come in to the nursery, to the left we have wonderful bottles for the babies. And all kinds of different with different characters and in different colors. And in the first drawer here, we have more bottles, but they're all empty. In the second drawer, we have bibs. In the front, I have girl bibs. And in the back, there are the boy bibs. Down here we have washcloths and hooded towels and batteries for the swing. Next is the changing table. Here is my magic nursery Octavius and a bedtime for baby book. I have the boys comb and brush and the girls comb and brush and a blankie Birth, well, burp cloth that I had when I was a baby. Here are all of my baby's hair products and baby powder and also the wonderful fragrances that make them smell so, so good. And here is my husband. <laughs> hey, hubby. <laughs> Just doing a little updated nursery tour. And here are the baby seasonal hats. These are owl hats and I have a cupcake hat. And I have two Winnie the Pooh hats for girls and for the boys. And a Hello Kitty hat. Okay, and down here I have this beautiful curtain that my aunt made for me. With Winnie the Pooh and Tigger on there. And if you lift this up. We have spare combs and brushes, sunglasses for summertime, and we have the wonderful oils that make the uh, wonderful sprays that I spray on their clothes and on their items. And here next are the diapers. They're organized from girl to neutral and boys. Here I have styling products, gel, and the shine that's also oh popular uh, with me anyway it makes my baby's hair look so shiny and I have some more washcloths and extra combs and brushes and I also have some cotton swabs down here we have all of the baby's shoes we have size 1 diapers size 4 diapers um, my scrapbooking extra papers which probably need to be moved and I have my camcorder and we keep moving to the right and we have the lamp and the TV where we have the clock and the bottle drying uh, rack and I have some pictures of my girls so Livia, Maya and Maya and Emily the telephone and here is my computer station which is completely Hello Kitty and on the wall I have all of my baby's names except for Isley I um, need to figure out where I want to put her name I'm thinking I'm not sure if I want to put it over here or over here I'm not sure yet and there's the window with a curtain this is where I sit to change the baby sometimes, uh, but not often because it hurts my back to sit on the floor. But if I just kind of want to lay on in the nursery and maybe just look at some videos and lay down and maybe cuddle with the baby, I would lay there. Because usually I change the babies here now on the changing table. We're just going around the room. Here we have uh, my 
um, cabbage patch that I had when I was a little girl. And there is my bunny Build-A-Bear. And here, nestled up in this wonderful bouncer, is little Miss Isley. And she's wide awake looking at Mama. Like, what are you doing, Mommy? And here is her birth certificate. Pillow. And in the corner over here, I have another one of my Builder Bears. Sweet baby girl. I think I named her Baby Aria. It's a pretty black bear. Here on the floor we have Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I wonder if he still talks. No, he doesn't. His battery is dead. I need to get him a new battery. And here is the crib. The nursery is still uh, is going to be waiting for a little while on one more uh, special, special baby that will be joining the nursery. I'm not sure when. Um, just I know that a, another special baby is going to be here. And, of course, because it's on the boy's side, this is where he is going to lay um, my new baby. I wanted it to be a surprise, but, um, yeah. <laughs> but, anyway, and here is where little Miss Ariel sleeps. She sleeps in the crib. There she is, looking absolutely gorgeous. Her hair is in her face a little bit. And there's her birth certificate. So I decided to put the baby's birth certificates next to them where they sleep or where they um, lie most of the time. And here's little Miss Olivia. And she's just snuggled up with her little lovey there. And she kind of matches her boppy. <laughs> and little Miss Yuri is spoiled as can be. She's the only baby that's been able to swing in the swing. Because uh, I just got it yesterday. So, And uh, she's the first baby I put in there. But she usually sleeps here. And her birth certificate pillow is over here on her bed. And here's Olivia's birth certificate pillow. And this area is where the car seats are. Are. This is the girl's car seat, and it says Princess on there. And this is their blankie, and they have a taggy down in there, and they have another toy on the side there. But I keep it closed to keep out dust or whatever. the hood down there okay it seems like something is kind of messed up over here in there 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 we are Okay, so those are the babies in the crib, and Yuri's in the swing, and underneath the crib I have uh, a boppy, spare boppy, and I also have um, boxes and bags and material for uh, mailing and sending out packages. And you keep coming around, and we get to the reborn closet. Well, they have all their wonderful, wonderful clothes and accessories. This is where the blankets are. They are arranged from thick girl blankets, thinner girl blankets, thick boy blankets, thin boy blankets, and the neutrals are down here. But um, the one neutral blanket I have, Peanut, is currently using. Right now, I had a white blanket. I think I sent it to somebody. Not sure 
I must have because I haven't seen it in a while. And up here, we have the girls' clothes, and they're separated from newborn. Zero to three. Three to six is really where it needs to stop. Then six to nine and 12 months because some sizes say like 12 months or whatever. Um, and they're actually kind of small and they fit um, area really good. Like the six to nine month in the cow Dina is like really actually snug on her. But um, this six to nine months that she got from uh Kyra, K Kara, I think it's Ky Kyra, I think, and a giveaway that fits her really well. I love that. And some of the items she'll get sent with her are 12 month. I can't wait to put her in some of these little items when it gets warmer. And down here are the um, toys and loveys. Up top, we have the girls bows rubber bands and um like clips ribbons to make bows more larger bows and headbands and this is some just some of my uh crochet stuff here on to the far left we have maya's three drawers and at the bottom is yuriana's up here is eudora's which is alex his three drawers and the next three is Emily's. Here is Olivia's clothes here. And Londy Blossoms. And Passy Clips. Down here I house weighing material and stuffing. And I also house the babies. diaper bags I'm trying to get up a, a nicer way to put it there that's better and those are the baby's diaper bags and here are the boys clothes and we have some a few preemie things for um, peanut then newborn and zero to three months for Alex <clears throat> Next we have their passies and it's an order from girl to boy in order from um, oldest to youngest as as in the ones that I collected first are first so Maya was my very first baby and so on but the boys are separate so Eudorus came in between here and Elijah came after Alex so and he came right after Isley I mean after um you, wait he came after Yuriana my bad peanut came right in here but I wanted to keep the boys down here okay swing over here up there is mostly nothing of importance uh, we have some uh, stuff for making passy scissors, uh, paint brushes to kind of dust off their cracks and crevices, and I have some some um, baby formula for a uh, show. I actually would like to fill it, and since I have a lot of empty bottles, and I'll probably like make more formula bottles because the the uh, after a while, depending on the type of Depending on the type of um, fabric softener you use, it, it thickens up. I'm not sure because I've had some older bottles that I still have that didn't thicken up. And I have some that I like made after that that did thicken up. So, I don't know. I guess the ones that don't really move around that much. So, and next we have, this is just some junk here I need to put somewhere else. And this would actually, if I got rid of this... You know, that is an awesome, awesome idea. I'm going to get rid of this stuff here. Like my buttons, I'm going to move up here. And I just got such an awesome idea. I'm going to find somewhere else for this stuff to go. 
and I'm gonna get a blue one like this for the new baby and then his stuff can go up there okay so anyway moving on um, so like I say this isn't my nursery isn't quite complete as of yet but I am hoping that it'll uh, but I don't, it's not com as com it's not complete just yet because I'm still waiting on one more member member of the Pooh Bear um, nursery but then after that then I'll do the final one but like after this baby there will be no more babies coming into my nursery I have collected all the babies I want and that's it so here are Ariel's clothes um, this is her next outfit I want to put on her I just haven't put it on her yet these are her sleepers and underneath her sleepers are her t-shirts and underneath her t-shirts is a skirt that she has and underneath that are her, are her pants okay and right here are her socks and mittens and underneath that are her tights and um, stockings here's her jacket here are her hats and these are her onesies over here it goes down those are her onesies and here are her outfits so I have them stacked from uh, newest to oldest so things that she's worn already are at the bottom and things that she hasn't worn which starts here and goes up I have at the top and I'm just gonna keep recycling through them and whenever I see something new I want to get I'll you know ship out one outfit and replace it with another okay we'll go from uh, left to right here is Elijah's section peanut so here are some um, this is just an, uh, this is an outfit right here but underneath are just his bottoms his pants he doesn't have any shorts <clears throat> and here are his hats these are his socks booties and mittens all right here he has a lot of them okay and you take this out and here are her, his sleepers these are like the like zipper or button uh, pants like sleepers and these are his gowns and this is how I have to get their stuff slide it over pull this out and here are his outfits and onesies so this stack is all short sleeve onesies this stack is all long sleeve onesies and it's also <laughs> rompers jumpers and this stack uh, these are his outfits moving on to little Miss Isley here back here well right on top are her sleepers she has two sleepers this one and this one and then I have her outfits this isn't really an outfit but I just put this with these pants I thought it would, would look cute and those are her outfits and this is her one hat I gave this to her from um, Yuri because Yuri doesn't really wear a lot of hats so I well she has another hat she's wearing it though so this is one of her uh, well she has other hats but like this hat goes with that outfit so yeah so here's her hat here are her onesies and underneath here let me see underneath her onesies are her dresses starting right here with those polka dot that's like a little dress with bloomers and a little popsicle dress with bloomers and this is her jacket and her long sleeve onesies are right here 
and her mittens and her booties and socks are right over there. Down here we have seasonal outfits, mostly jackets. This is something that I want to sell. Of uh, that's for um, this is for Ariel, and this is like a little uh, Fourth of July, and the rest of this are jackets and things like that. And that's uh, supposed to be in the Christmas box, but I ran out of space, so it's just sitting there. The Christmas box had to be tied shut. And so, that's the Christmas box. I'm going to probably open this like as soon as I finish this video and stuff that in there. <laughs> and underneath is the Halloween box. And on top of that are the baby's pacifiers. So this is the felt I use to put on the back. I've had this since I've uh, been in this hobby. And here are the magnets for passies. They just kind of all stick together. And here are all my baby's passies. And these are some of the recent passies that I've just uh, purchased not too long ago. And there they are. And so that concludes... Pooh Bear 253 Reborn Nursery. Okay, I'm going to close this up, but I'm not going to put that back because I'm about to put that up. And yeah, oh no, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not done. Here and right here is the uh, my original girl's bassinet. This is the first bassinet I purchased. The first, like this, was like the first piece of furniture that I purchased for my babies. If you ever went and looked way back when I first started, look at some of my old videos when I still had the bed and I had just one little container and a few little baskets, and I had this bassinet, and uh, I also. Yeah, I had the bassinet first, I think. I think I had the bouncer and the play mat also. So this is where Annalie and Maya sleeps. That is their um, birth certificate pillow there. And here are my boys. Elijah and Eudorus sleeping. This Winnie the Pooh bassinet. And I showed you Yuri's bed. That's where she sleeps. My first reborn bed. I was so very excited and happy to make it. And I also have a play mat that I keep behind the computer desk. I forgot to show that. And I'm just going to kind of start at the door and give you just a little glimpse of my updated nursery tour. And I am so sorry this video was so, so very long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, every now and then I like to do a nursery tour update. And like I say, I'm going to be doing one more, probably one more update after this. And that's probably going to be it. My nursery is probably going to stay the way it is uh, for a very, very long time, if not ever. Because there's nothing else I can add to it. There's nothing else I can do uh to my nursery it is at its full max capacity and i am completely happy and satisfied with all of the babies i have and i no longer want any uh more reborns at this time so hopefully it'll stay that way but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed let me see I, let me see do i look presentable I'll let you guys see me so here I am on Pooh Bear 253 Herlanda Hobart here on YouTube and I hope you enjoyed touring my reborn nursery. Thanks for watching Mwah! and have a fabulous day. Bye guys.